The Patsuri culture thrived in the Altai Mountains of Siberia, roughly between the 6th and the 1st centuries BCE. Known for their remarkable burials and intricate craftsmanship, the Patsuric people were semi-nomadic pastoralists, closely related to earlier steppe cultures like the Sintashta and Andronovo, who had strong warrior and horse-riding traditions. Although the Patsuric people lived in a high-altitude environment with cold and harsh conditions, they adapted skillfully, developing complex social structures and managing herds of horses, sheep and cattle. Their culture is particularly famous for their elaborate burial mounds, called kurgans, found in the permafrost, which have preserved wooden structures, saddles, carpets, and even tattooed human remains. Through these frozen tombs, archaeologists have been able to study Patsuric life in extraordinary detail. Their connection to earlier steppe cultures like the Sintashta is evident in the burial practices, warrior equipment, and horse culture, all of which reflect the continuity in the steppe traditions. While the Patsuric were primarily pastoralists, they showed evidence of agricultural adoption, likely influenced by neighboring settled cultures to the south and west. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of 7 Patsuric samples and ran them through my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis. With PCA-based calculators like G25 and Eurogene's K13, these samples resembled Central Asian Turkic populations, such as Bashkirs, Tatars, and the Nagai. The most common predicted phenotypes were Stranded, Alpinid, and Pamirid, but one sample did also score an East Asian phenotype, namely Choshiu. This is also the only sample out of seven to carry East Asian EDAR. The most common eye color was brown, with 6 out of 7 samples scoring brown eye color. Only one sample scored hazel eye color. The most common hair color was black, and 2 samples scored dark brown hair color. The most common predicted skin color was olive, but 2 samples did also score light brown as their predicted skin color. The most common predicted hair texture was wavy, with 3 samples scoring this hair texture but two samples also scored straight and two samples also scored curly hair texture. The most common nose shape was a snub nose shape with five out of seven samples being predicted to have snub noses. The Pacific samples had a strong predisposition to taller height with five samples scoring taller height. Five out of the seven samples were predicted to have a high predisposition to male pattern hair loss. One sample had low risk of kidney stones, two samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants, and four out of seven samples had low odds for migraine. One sample had high and one sample had low risk for gout. Two samples had low risk for eczema, and three samples had low risk for polycystic ovary syndrome. Three samples had high and two samples had low odds for age-related macular de degeneration. Five samples had low odds for the reds, and two samples had high odds for epilepsy. One sample had low and one sample had high odds for vitiligo. Three samples had high and two samples had low odds of myopia. Three of the seven samples had very high odds for Alzheimer's disease. Three samples had low odds of ischemic stroke. One sample had very high odds of atrial fibrillation. One sample had very high odds of deep vein thrombosis and one sample had high odds of unspecified cardiovascular issues, including aneurysms, hypertension, and MI. Two of the Pacific samples were predicted to be warriors, while one was predicted to be a warrior. Overall, it seems the Pacific samples were slightly predisposed to lower dopamine levels and higher stress resiliency. Regarding the number of D2 receptor sites, one sample was predicted to have fewer D2 receptor sites and one sample was predicted to have more D2 receptor sites, leading to increased odds of schizophrenia and bipolar. The Pacific samples were predisposed to average odds of ADHD, depression, and low odds of bipolar 1, with only one sample scoring high odds of bipolar 1, while three samples scored low odds for this condition. Four of the seven Pacific samples had high odds of autism, while three samples had intermediate predisposition to autism and no sample scored lower odds of autism. 
no sample was predicted to be lactase persistent as well. Two of the seven positive samples scored lower level of empathy on the basis of OXTR genotypes, while one sample scored higher level of empathy. Regarding athleticism and ACTN3's R577X genotype, three samples carried the athletic sprinter CC genotype, while three samples were heterozygous, and only one sample carried the unathletic endurance sports TT genotype. The pathetic samples had a predisposition to elevated odds of epithelial cancers. The pathetic samples had a low overall predisposition to breast cancer, high overall predisposition to glioma or brain cancer, high predisposition to thyroid cancer, and an average predisposition to testicular cancer by Eurasian standards, although very high by world standards, as certain world populations, especially those in Africa, don't carry the KETOG risk variance for testicular cancer. The pathetic samples had a high predisposition to leukemia and a low predisposition to polycythemia vera. The pathetic samples had a high overall predisposition to allergies and an average predisposition to type 2 diabetes. Five of the pathetic samples were predicted to have a lower odds of autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes, while two samples had high odds of autoimmune disease. Regarding some common autoimmune conditions, Two of the samples had high odds of type 1 diabetes, two samples had high odds of rheumatoid arthritis, and three samples had high odds of multiple sclerosis, which is surprising as the Pacific are not a Nordic group, and thus it is unusual to see such a high prevalence of HLA DRB1 alleles for multiple sclerosis among them. Three samples also scored high for risk of losing spondylitis. Four of the seven samples carried risk alleles for certain rare conditions. Three of these people carry the risk variance for Parkinson's disease, which seems to be one of the most common rare conditions. Two of the seven samples were predicted to have a lower odds of obesity, while five samples were predicted to have intermediate odds of obesity. One sample had elevated odds of syncope, and one sample had significantly lowered odds of syncope. The remaining five samples had slightly below average odds of syncope. The Pacific were predisposed to lower telomere lengths, which leads to a shorter biological lifespan. The Pacific also had a predisposition to elevated red blood cell count. None of the Pacific samples had a predisposition to hemochromatosis on the basis of iron levels. The Pacific samples had a predisposition to average levels of vitamin D and elevated levels of bad LDL cholesterol. The most common predicted blood type among the Pacific samples was blood type B, with 5 out of 7 samples scoring this blood type. One sample scored blood type O and one sample scored blood type A. No samples were predicted to have blood type AB. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to leave a like and share if you enjoyed it. Goodbye.